down on the 18. Back to pass. Long pass for Mo. Bat it away. Incomplete. Gallatin will take over. We were trying to hit Thompson in the back in the end zone. We couldn't do it. Malone knocked it down with one hand, barely. Gallatin takes over on the 18. Corey Malone tipping that away just at the last second. So with 2.29 to go in the first period, Gallatin gets the football back at their own 18-yard line. Ball on the 18. Gallatin's Goodridge, the quarterback. Milliken's a fullback. And let's see. McMurray's the tailback. Motion. Send that wing in motion. Phillips goes with him. Take the ball. Run the fullback up the middle. A little yard. No, they give it to the tailback. I was following the fullback. They give it to McMurray. McMurray crossed the 20. Got to the 25 and got seven. Second down. Three yards to go. Jerry McMurray played three years. It started. He's hurt us all. Well, he's hurt us two years. And he's hurting us a little bit tonight. He's carried the ball about three times. Linebackers are Sellers and Rose. We're in a 50. Send a man in motion. That's that wing. Take the ball, run a sweep. McMurray, McMurray cuts it in. He got a first down. Cross the 25, cross the 30, all the way to the 31 or 32-yard line. They'll put it on the 31. Jerry McMurray, he looks healthy tonight. Sure does, Bruce. He's been playing with a bit of an ankle injury. Missed all of the Hendersonville game. Only played on offense last week. In the first half against Mount Julia, played just a little bit on defense in the second half, but he looks pretty good to me tonight. Late in the first quarter, 134 and the clock runs, and they give it to McMurray, and he got through, and he got five, and he got six, and he got knocked down on a 37 or eight. He just shot through our line and got up to about, that was a lead play with a fullback leading, and he got to the 38-yard line. McMurray carries the football from the 32 to the 38 and got six, and it's second and four. Gallatin comes out of the huddle to the line. And he got a wing right and a split in left, tight in right. Take the ball, McMurray again. McMurray runs, powers and spangs and got a first down or he's close. First down, McMurray up on the 43. Gallatin taking it at us right now. First down on the 43. They're just running Jerry McMurray. Terry, what do you got on him? Bruce, that was McMurray's fifth carry of the night, 32 yards. He's averaging about six and a half yards a carry. So they're running it straight at us less than a minute. The crowd at Lebanon right now trying to get enthused in the Galton people are packed too. Take the ball, we hit him that time and he spun away and he spun away again. And he crossed the 45 and got to the 48. And that was number 42, the fullback that carried that ball that time, Milliken. And he carried it on a dive and got to the 48 and he got about six. Here's that defensive front for Lebanon. Troy Adams at the strong side in. Kevin Hasty at a tackle. Tony Cantrell, the nose. Ryan Alds, a sophomore, at a tackle spot. Mike Moscadelli, the weak side end. Sellers and Rose are your linebackers. Garrett, Phillips, Thompson, and C in the secondary for Lebanon High School. We're in a 50. We bring one of our linebackers up in the line, and then we back him out. They send a man in motion too much time, or the, that's the end of the first quarter. First quarter over. Gallatin, three, Lebanon, nothing. Back in 30 seconds. Prescott. And we're here at Roxy and Company with Angie Sims to make a small presentation. On behalf of the Blue Devil Booster Club, LHS cheerleaders, and coaches, players, and fans, we'd like to thank you for your support and present you with this souvenir stadium cushion for a token of our appreciation. Thank you. Thank you. Back at Lebanon High School, Blue Devils trail by a score of three to nothing. Coach Steve Malone, the principal at Lebanon High School, wants to express thanks to the ladies of the Parents Task Force who worked with the Chili Supper tonight before the football game. All proceeds from the Chili Supper go to benefit projects at Lebanon High School. Okay, Tommy, they're second down. They're on their own 48. They've got to go, I think, to our 47. They need about five. Second, we'll say second down, five yards to go. Wing left. They've been sending him in motion all night. Motion right. Take the ball. Long count. Fake it. Look for the pass. Long pass down the middle. He's open. Caught down interference. He caught it anyway down on the five-yard line. Great pass. He got behind their secondary, and they hit who? Chumley? 
That was Chumley running a quick post. Chumley down the middle of the field, one of the backup receivers for the Green Wave. He's a junior. Chumley against Ron C. And the flag pass interference going to be against Lebanon will be refused as Ron never turned on the football and probably made contact down there with Chumley. So Gallatin in great shape inside the Lebanon five, going to call it about the four yard line. Gallatin's going to take a timeout. We'll take one as well. 11.42 to go in the second quarter. Gallatin three, Lebanon nothing. Lanning, and I'm Jennifer Templeton, and we're here at Women's Health Center with Mary Ann Spears and Angie Michaels to make a small presentation. On behalf of the Blue Devil Booster Cup Club, LHS cheerleaders, coaches, players, and fans, we would like to say thank you for your support and also present you with the Souvenir Stadium cushion as a token of our appreciation. Thank you. Back at Lebanon, Chumley has just received a 47-yard pass from Goodridge, setting up first and goal for Gallatin at the Lebanon four. Power our right. Yeah, I guess McMurray will get this. Take a fumble, and then they get outside, and we hit him, and he got a touchdown. A fumble snap, quarterback Goodridge did. He caught it in midair, and then he got outside our end, and he raced in the end zone. Touchdown, Gallatin, nine to nothing. That was a exchange, bad exchange, but it worked out to the best for Gallatin. John, nine to nothing. John, you had a better view than we did. Uh, <laughs> the bad exchange helped Gallatin. Tommy, it did, but at the same time, we had about four guys that had a hand on the quarterback and uh, should have really brought him down over on this end. Back up to you. Mullins to kick the extra point. He's already got a field goal. Snap down placements there. Kick is good. Ten to nothing. Back in 30 seconds. Gallatin. And I'm Allie Lanning. And we're here at Midwest Go Permapipe with Bill Irvin and Jerry Triplett to make a small presentation. On behalf of the Blue Devils Booster Club, the LHS cheerleaders, coaches, players, and fans, we would like to say thank you for your support, and we'd like to present you with this um, souvenir stadium cushion as a token of our appreciation. Uh, thanks, Allie. On behalf of Permafight Division Midwest Go, we'd like to say thank you for this cushion, and we'd like to wish you, uh, the cheerleaders, and uh, the football team the best of luck for this year. Thank you. Rushing touchdown of the season, Keith Goodridge, a four-yard touchdown run. Lebanon leads Gallatin 10 to nothing. The kick will go all the way into the end zone. They'll bring it out to 20. Lebanon takes over on the 20-yard line, first and 10. We're down 10 to nothing. Probably right here, Tommy, a critical drive. We need one. Absolutely, Bruce. We need to move the football. It'd be great to get some points on the board right here. You're down 10 to nothing. It's still early in the football game. 11.37 to go in the first half. We need to make something happen here to try to get a little more life in that Blue Devil football team. We've only played a quarter and almost 30 seconds in the second quarter. Gallatin's got us 10 to nothing. Triplet runs the sweep to Moss. Moss got a little daylight and crossed to 20 and got to the 24 and got four and got knocked down. It's second and six. Second down and six on a night where Gallatin has brought probably two or 3,000, and we've got two or three in here, probably three, I'm guessing 6,000 people in here tonight. And Lebanon ranked number one in the action rating, Gallatin two. And right now, Gallatin taking it to us 10 to nothing. 11.04 and the clock runs. Split in left, that's Thompson. He's guarded one on one. Back to pass, option, pitch. They'll hit Sellers, they'll bring him down. Calvin Hall, we ran the option to Moss. Moss got knocked down back on the 17 or 18. They'll put it on the 18, 17 and a half. Now we're third down in 12 and a half. We've tried to run the option. Calvin Hall tackled our back. Bruce, if we're going to run that option, Greg's going to have to take it right to the defensive end, make the end, play the quarterback, draw the defense to him, and then kick it out. Triplet brings them up to the line, 10-20. Back to pass, looks for Moe. Long pass to Moe. Thompson over, intercepted. Down on the 49-yard line, great interception by Jeremy McMurray. He's hurt us again, folks. He intercepted that ball in our territory on the 49. Moe 
was looking up and then he didn't see the ball. McMurray picked it off and he went sliding on the turf or sliding on the grass on the 49. For Lebanon, that's Triplett's second interception of the season. For McMurray, he has now two pickoffs. Take the ball and run McMurray, and he's straight up the middle, five, six yards, across the 45, 44. Tommy, they're just hammering us right now. That offensive line for the green wave, Bruce, just blowing us, making a hole right up the middle for McMurray. They go 245 at a tackle, 205 at a guard, 245 at center. Inman at uh, 255 at a guard and 250 at a tackle. They're just muscling it in there right behind the fullback Milliken. Giving it to McMurray. They send Black in motion. He comes toward us. Take the ball and give it to the second man through. McMurray got hit pretty good on about the 41. Maybe he got to the 40. He's about a foot short, maybe a yard. Jerry McMurray carrying the football again. He's on the 40. He needs to get to the 39. Third down in a yard. It's 10 to nothing. There's nine minutes to play in the half, and we're down 10 to nothing, and Galton's driving on us again. Split in wide to the left comes Chumley. Mo Thompson comes out to cover him. Take the ball. Mike Murray got a first down to the 38, maybe the 37. First down, Gallatin. Right off right guard and right tackle. First down. They pound it right at our linebackers and right at our tackles and guards. Ball on the 38, I guess. 38-yard line, first down and 10. Gallatin has lost one ball game. Riverdale shut them down six to nothing. Lebanon six and oh. District game. Big district game at that. Calvin Hall wide to the left. Motion comes black. McKinney's the fullback. They give it to McMurray. McMurray hits it inside. Got knocked down, but he got five yards. Crossed the 35. Got to the 34, maybe the 33. And it seems like he's getting five and six, Terry, every time. I know he's carried it a lot. How many? Bruce, he's already carried the ball nine times. He's got 50 yards. He's averaging a little bit over five and a half yards a carry. He's down to the 33. That time he got five more, second down and five. He almost got six out of that. Split an end, Chumley wide out here to the left. High set with a wing right, split, sweep. McMurray cuts it in, first down, banks it back. He may go. He's parried all the way down to the 20-yard line and brought down the Sellers and Garrett, but he got to the 20, and that's a big run for McMurray. He went all the way from the 28 to the 20 and got a first down on the 20-yard line. 